Hello everybody, Tell on the Guy 3 here. And I decided to play a little bit of Pokemon Showdown. This is a game that actually Dean and Sergi had introduced me to. I like I, I knew it existed. I seen Pokemon Showdown a couple of times on YouTube before. I just always thought that it was more technical to start a Pokemon Showdown. I thought like in order to do Pokemon Showdown, you'd have to go into like the coding of the game and get your Pokemon physically. Or, but it really just helps in team building and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. So in this battle, I'm just uh, battling off against Dean. I won't uh, narrate every battle sometimes. Sometimes I just talk about regular stuff. But I decided to go ahead and upload these Pokemon Showdown videos. Because why not? They, they're they fun, right? They're, they're a lot of fun just to see these little battles go down. So in this battle, we can see I got taken out by Stone Edge with Torterra. And then uh, Heat Ran comes out. Well, Dean and I actually did a uh, random, and that's how we, most of us end up doing. Dean and Sergi right now are the only ones I play against. Uh, the others don't really, either they don't play Pokemon Showdown or they don't, like, I haven't contacted them to play Pokemon Showdown. But um, it seems that Dean has a pretty cool team going on here, and I got a pretty cool team going on here as well. And I won't just record, like, wins. Sometimes I record losses as well and show them up on here. But I just wanted to go ahead and have like a, you know, when I'm running out of ideas for videos, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do these. Because I do also uh, battle random trainers online as well, too. So, yeah, it's just a really fun way to pass the time. Dean and I had a pretty long battle. I think, I think to be fair, I'll show off about two battles every time I do Pokemon Showdown. Unless that battle's really short. Like, the next battle's really short, but it's hilarious and I couldn't pass it up. Plus, this is the first part a Pokemon Showdown of this segment that I'm doing, so I think it'd be pretty fun. So as we can see, um, there's actually a Trick Room out, and I send out Rampardos, and I think that was a good choice because Rampardos is a slow Pokemon, so he's able to get the crush, Crunch off on Behem and take him out, because I think I lost more Pokemon in this battle than Dean did at first. I had a bad start because most of my Pokemon already came out first, but it was at this point that I think, yeah, Dean started, his team started falling apart around this point as well. <laughs> So it came down to, uh, ultimately it came down to a lot of stalling towards the end of this because he had a very bulky Pokemon and I had a very po very bulky Pokemon at the end. Yeah, because this is when he reveals that sand cloaked Burmy. And when he reveals that, he plays the Protect game knowing full well that it would take a long time for me to take that Burmy out just solely because of how many Pokemon I have left over. And one wrong move basically means the end of this. Yeah, that Rotom Wash was the real pain in the ass here. Just because, thankfully, the Lava Plume got a burn off on Rotom, so that means the Rotom Wash will eventually go down as time goes about. Uh, I knew that that was going to happen, so I switched out to the Breloom so that the Hydro Pump can yeah, get soaked up, and, yeah, and it takes T-Bolts like a champ. I go ahead and use the Sword Dance so I can boost my attack so that whatever attack I do on the next Pokemon would do a lot. Rotom's down because of the Mock Punch that I had stored. And then we see the Sand Cloaked Wormadam. I think... Uh, Sandcloak, yeah, Sandcloak Wormadam eats that Mach Punch with, like, no problem, and then takes out Breloom with the Earthquake. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But it's all good in the neighborhood, because Heatran is uh, about to take it. And the cool part about this game is that, uh, what it does, it lets you use Legendaries and regular Pokemon, and they put them all around in the same tier. But what they do is that sometimes they'll make the Legendary Pokemon have a lower level, while they make the stronger, like, the weaker Pokemon, excuse me, have higher levels to compensate and then give them items that are appropriate. But this he trained those rocking an air balloon, which I thought was kind of weird. And at this point, I think Dean is playing the stall game because he knows what's going to go down afterwards. It's pretty much a win game for Heatran, but he is stalling like a champion. And it's just funny just to see to see him resist this long. If he had actually like found a way to toxic, if that Warmadam actually had toxic, it would have been a great chance to stall me out, but that battle's over. And this battle I have with Sergi is really hilarious. This battle right here, this this is insane. So I bust out Behem, right, and he busts out Persian. And Sergi busts out the Taunt, so I have no choice but to use physical moves. And then he does the knockoff so he can knock off my Life Orb, which is all good said and done. And then I use Psychic to lower down the Persian's health, and then he busts out a U-turn. U-turn's super effective, so it knocks me out, but the Persian goes out as well, because Persian must have had a Life Orb as well. This is a freaking hilarious. I bust out Chatot. He switches because he knows he can't take a Chatot uh, because the Chatot might have Air Slash to the face. I bust in a substitute. Well, yeah, that gives me time to use substitute and to bust up a nasty plot. And this is where it gets awesome. With the nasty plot, I didn't know that Chatot could learn Boom Burst. 
and that freaking does it. Like, the Boom Burst sweeps through Surgy's entire team. Boom Burst and Air Slash on Chat Top for the win, along with a substitute and a nasty plot. Oh my goodness. It made me truly, like, have faith. And a chat tie. I don't even like chat tie, but he's also equipped with the leftovers, so he's getting help each turn and knocking each of these Pokemon out with boom burst. Look at this madness. This is pure madness. And then I'm able to eat that attack up from Gastrodon just because, but then I bust in a chatter and it knocks down. So boom burst and chatter for the win, just knocking each of these Pokemon out and it's in game right around here because I think chat tie knows uh, chatter, which is a flying type move. But should I make more of these? You decide. Uh, see you all then. Time on the guy. Three out.